healthy relationships never rob us of our identities. Never. In fact, when we are in a healthy relationship, we end up living more fully into who we really are. The healthiest relationships bring out the best in us. Joshua was willing to spend time with God. Because of his relationship with God, he ended up having the privilege of leading his people into the promised land. He was faithful to God, and that faith never wavered. It didn't waver because he was in a genuine relationship with God that he seemed to be practicing, sometimes right behind our backs or under our noses. Jesus, we see in him the perfect relationship between a son and his father. And Jesus invites us into that relationship. We are in the season of epiphany for a reason. We realize that Jesus has come not just to save us from our sins, although that is huge, he also comes to model for us what it looks like to be in a real relationship with the Father. And he invites us to share in that relationship. He no longer calls us slaves, he calls us friends. That's the truth. Jesus invites us into that relationship. Now, regretfully, all of us here live our lives at some level of estrangement from God. But God has never departed from us. He is constantly inviting us to renew that relationship with him. That relationship has the potential to bring out the best in each and every one of us. With God, we can become our best selves in jesus christ the light of god came into our darkness as we open our eyes to that truth the truth of his presence we will find ourselves utterly humbled by the depth of his love the apostle paul says something to the effect of while we were still his enemies he sent his son to die for us if we fully wrap our minds around it we can't help but to find ourselves desiring to be in constant praise of a God who would love us even though we're ignoring him. As we practice the presence of God, we're going to find that that desire to hold God, to constantly praise God, to worship God, will actually become more and more natural and something that we can do indeed constantly. It will change us. And we're going to like the change. 